All right, so today I want to talk about AstroPrint. AstroPrint offers some really neat uh, web-based or cloud-based printing solutions. You can hook any printer up to some of their hardware, and it will allow you to print from your computer or from that particular hardware. They, they really do some neat things, but uh, th what I want to show you today is the free side of AstroPrint, their web-based slicer, and how easy it is to get started with this. So I'm going to create a free account right here, and all you have to do is uh, put in your information. So I will put in all my information, and then I will come right back. So I filled in those three areas, put in my password, my email address, and my name, and it takes me right here to the AstroPrint dashboard. They offer so many different things that I've never taken advantage of. I'm just going to show you the easy web-based slicer and how to get your print from the web back onto your computer so that you can print it to your printer. So you can take the long tour and go through the tour. That's, that's fine if you want to. But if you go to Design Uploader, it will ask you to upload a design. Now my problem is I don't have a design so I wanted you to see that in Tinkercad I have this heart-shaped box that I just drew up for you. I'm going to export that as an STL file like you normally would. It's gonna go right to my desktop heart-shaped box. Okay so now I'm gonna switch back to the AstroPrint dashboard and let's try this upload again. There we go. There's an STL file. I'm gonna open that up and AstroPrint takes the file, analyzes it, and boom, you've got the print right here. If you wanted to look at it in 360, you can click here. You can spin around and take a look at what it looks like. It tells you what size it's going to be when it's once it's uploaded, the volume of it, and whether it's manifold or not. So right here, it analyzes it very quickly. So the first steps that you have to take the first time, not every time, is add a printer. So I'm going to click add a printer, and you know, at STEMCamp EDU, we use the mono price we currently use the the mono price mini select if you go into and choose manufacturer mono price there's the select mini add to my printers all of the settings are already in there everything you need is already done so step number two is choose your material add the material and we will have to add a custom material every time just this one time so I'm just gonna call this my PLA setup it's 1.75 millimeter PLA now you know that you can adjust your extruder temperature and your bed temperature as you see fit I will keep it at 200 that's where my mini select likes to be and I like my bed temperature somewhere around 60 you know I'm gonna make it a uh, 65 so you set your temperatures your bed temperatures here this is the only time you'll have to do it if you want to change it you can but there it is I'm gonna save my filament now I can choose low draft quality it's trying to take me on another tour here I can choose low draft quality, normal quality, or best quality. Now this is something that you don't have the option for in Cura unless you set up multiple different profiles. So here I can say, well, I'd like it to print real fast, it doesn't matter, it's just a quick prototype. I'd like a beautiful finished product, and I gotta tell you, the AstroPrint best quality prints are better than anything that I've ever gotten from Cura, and I have played with all different kinds of settings, or Repetier Host for that matter. Uh, these best settings are really very good. So instead of clicking print and sending this to their cloud base, you're just going to have to click slice here. You can also go into advanced slicer settings and see so much more. This is also an advanced slicer settings. I, f I forgot. Let me show you this real quick. This is where you can change your infills if you're not sure about it, if you want to change that. And you can also check out skirt brim and support material. So if you're printing something that needs supports or a raft like platform adhesion, this is where you're going to do it in the advanced settings. And you have to do it before you slice the thing. So go ahead down and, and turn on, you can turn on your supports here, whatever you want, um, if you need them. And then you can go to slice right here. So I don't, I didn't need to change anything, so I'm just gonna click slice. And what it's gonna do is slice the object and it will put it in my files. So it is in my files right now. Woohoo, you just sliced your first file. So right here, this little icon will allow me to download that sliced file, the G-code file. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And
and there it is. It wants to call it Heart Shaped Box for the Select Mini in PLA Best Quality dot G code. So I can add that to my desktop. I can save that right to my uh, my micro USB card and send it over. You can do it any way you would like, however you like to print. There's the G code that you need to send to your to your printer. It's that simple and easy. I'm not going to save this one because I don't need to print another heart shaped box. I just wanted to show you how it's done. Now, what if I want to get back to this? Well, if you click on Astro Print here, it takes you back to all these really there's some really interesting neat things in here. But if you go to the file manager, everything you've ever sliced is there waiting for you. They also give you this Astro key it's like a little keychain that they give you to get started if you take the tour uh, if I go to Astro Print again upload a design so I choose another STL I can upload as many as I want to file manager is where everything that I have already sliced is there if I don't want those things you can just do the three little dots you can order it 3d printed or you uh, you can go down and delete a design that you don't want Astro Print is an incredible solution for people who want to try something different than Cura. Another great solution is this is all web-based. It requires no install. So this is fantastic if you're using Chromebooks in your classroom. You can do this all web-based from a Chromebook. You can put a micro SD card in most Chromebooks or use a USB reader with a micro SD card in it and you can save it right from the Chrome. You can slice it on the Chromebook, save it from the Chromebook to the SD card and then put that SD card in your printer and print. So this is a great solution if you're working with something web based like a Chromebook. It's all based all in the web. It's just fantastic. You should give it a try. I love it.